Hello everyone. This is Micromax Superphone Canvas A100. This has been launched in August 2012. This uh, is costing about 9,500 Indian rupees. It's a quite a good handy candy bar phone. So before we reach into the features, um, let me boot it after that. So let it boot. It takes a time to boot, but that's normal for these kind of phones. So in the meantime, um, this is the box. This has got certain features. So the features are like uh, the processor. The processor is about 1 gigahertz. It's running on an Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. It has a dimensions of 142.2 millimeters with 72.6 millimeters and 11.9 uh, mm is the thickness. It has a dual SIM slot, one 3G and other one is 2G and that is how it works. The SD card slot uh, is available inside and you can expand it up to 32 GB. It has got other connectivity like uh, Bluetooth 3.0, GPS, it has a gravity sensor and uh, the battery is about uh, 2000 mAh. Well the phone has booted. So before we go to the main features, this is the power button. This is the volume up and down button. So these are the two buttons. There's no other buttons uh, in this phone. This is the USB charger where you can also use the data cable interface. This is the 3.5 mm jack for audio. This is how the phone looks like. So let's uh, Unlock it. I have already installed loads and loads of apps in it and it is running well and fine. It's obviously it is not comparable with other high-end phones like the Galaxy's high-end or the Xperia high-ends. For a range of 9500 this phone is quite good handy. The fact is that it is not having that kind of uh, cheap phone look that people you may think that okay this is quite cheap but it's okay it's good it's quite handy it's nice there are many features that are loaded out here so obviously the main thing is it is a ICS4 so let's check out the phone features oh, and the phone features if I see it out in the settings so uh, This is the phone features out here. So about the phone, this is a model as a Android Android version version 4.0.4, and it has been built by Micromax. Before we enter into any kind of other features, this is one good feature that I will try to fetch from the Quadrat Standard benchmark. It may take a little bit of time, so let's run the benchmark. This checks the CPU, the memory, the input output, the 2D graphics and the 3D graphics. It's checking all the features of the CPU and the speed as it says it has a 1 GHz processor. The details will be shown out here. And even the real manufacturer. 
you may be wondering okay this is a micro max phone but micro max doesn't manufacture phones they just do the rebranding but as a rebranded phone this is also quite good it's still loading it takes a time it's checking the graphics right now this is about the 3d graphics in case if you kind of play 3d games since it has a GPU installed um, the graphics quality is really good ok so this is the basic features that uh, you may love to see so these are the features out here this is HTC One X and this is the Samsung Nexus so where does this device stand according to the benchmark so this is having a rate of 2058 and this stands above the HTC Desire HD and the Samsung Nexus S if you can see it carefully this is my devices here well that's all from this details so other than that what I can do is the system information out here so this basically gives you a complete information about this phone this is running in a system SDK version of 4.0.4 .4 Android but here the OS name it is showing Linux but basically this is an Android IC yes the device is A100 and just see carefully the brand is China Telecom China Telecom is the largest uh, telecom company of the world it has the maximum user subscriber now the CPU it's a 1 gigahertz CPU it's a single core CPU and the memory out here is not 512 MB it is approximately 387 MB and that perhaps will make this phone a little bit slow but uh, at a price of 9500 this is good enough so these are the main features of this phone so other than that it has the wireless LAN features the dual sync features first of all let me go to the connectivity part in the connectivity part the main and important thing that I love is the tethering and the USB tethering this has got a USB tethering so you connect it to a 3G network and you want to connect it to a laptop or your desktop and use the internet so this will completely act as a modem if you enable the USB tethering service since there is no USB connected so it is a little bit faded out then portable wireless LAN hotspot you can use it as a uh, Wi-Fi router or a Wi-Fi access point at which uh, you can just switch it on and your Wi-Fi will be enabled out here So you can connect to any laptops. The laptop will search the Wi-Fi network and you enter the password if you want or else you can keep it as an open network. So that setting is available here. The Bluetooth, the wireless LAN, 
and then the dual sim settings in this dual sim settings I have to choose which uh, network I want to use the Tata Docomo the Airtel I have chosen Tata as my voice call service as the default for the data I have chosen ASL 3G as the default and uh, for the SMS again I have chosen Tata as the default so out here if I want to use uh, 2G I want to use the Tata data I can select it out here and that's it it will automatically select the data for Tata Docomo which will be working on 2G because only SIM1 supports 3G so let me again set it back to here so since I'm connected in a Wi-Fi so these features will not hamper me in the settings and regarding the internet connections and the speed so there are loads of browsers this is the default browsers that they provide so in this default browser let me open yahoo.com so this is how it loads and it runs very well I can exit from here other than that you can also have loads of other browsers that you can load so you can load browsers like Maxthon, Dolphin, iBrowser so let's have a check with the Maxthon browser it's completely depends upon the user who wants to use what kind of browsers so if I use a Maxthon browser not here whatever I want to open that this opens obviously you can claim that the internet speed is fast because since I'm using a high speed broadband internet but uh, the loading time that it takes and the refresh rate that it takes in this phone is quite impressive you will love it so I have got loads and loads of uh, browsers I've already installed around 4 browsers out here and uh, that comes uh, for the browsers and another camera it has a 5 megapixel camera and it clicks uh, really well it's nice this is the autofocus system so you can focus it wherever you feel like and then you click it so that's the camera features it has an inbuilt GPS it has the wireless LAN, it has Bluetooth this is the setting to switch off the rotate if you just switch it off then your rotate will not work anymore this is how the rotate works So, if you would like to go to check out the streaming system, so you can go to YouTube and here we can open any kind of sites and uh, videos that will show some details. So, let's go for some kind of TV show like Comedy Circus 2012. Let's play this video. Kahani Comedy Circus Key. This video is not having some volume, it has some volume problem. So let's go and check out some other video. The loading time is quite fast because of the internet connection, but out here you can see the clarity of the video.
so that's the streaming video demo so other than that you can connect to gtalk you can also install other apps like teamviewer and connect remotely and obviously you'll get many other demos you'll get many other apps at google play regarding the graphics regarding the game I have installed IPL player so this comes to really good so I'll just exit it once again and load it so that I can skip the advertisement it's a free game available at Google Play This shows the graphic quality and uh, how you can play. This is how the game is going to play. I missed the shot, but uh, look at the graphics. The graphics are simply awesome. Uh, this is the graphics. So that's the main features of this phone that you can easily available. Other than that, obviously there are thousands and thousands of apps that is available to download. So at the end, uh, it's a handy phone, it's a good phone at a price of 9,500 rupees or even less. So that shows the complete uh, features of this phone. So thank you very much. Bye bye.